Hi friends, today we are going to be talking about getting off birth control, my whole story with birth control, what I've been doing now, pregnancy scares, all the nitty gritty things that you might want to know about if you're watching this video. So let's get into it. So when I was about 13, 14 years old, I got on hormonal birth control to help regulate and control my periods. Um, the biggest thing for me was I just had really painful, really bad, like couldn't go to school periods starting from a very young age. And so I got on birth control and was on it for over five years. So, and I, I never really had any issues with it. I, I did pretty well overall. I think those first five years I was young and I didn't know like what wasn't good for my body and I also have a lot of chronic illnesses so I feel like it masked a lot of things and um, and then when I turned 20 I decided that I didn't want to be on it anymore and there wasn't a man in sight to marry me um, so there was really no reason to be on it um, at that time and I got off birth control at 20 was off of it for a year and then I met my husband and we got engaged and we started talking about options and my biggest regret is that we didn't pray over like birth control or any of that it was just like a no-brainer of like oh yeah i'll just get on birth control and so we got on birth control and one month into our marriage i was so sick I had been bleeding for like three weeks straight. Mind you, this is the same exact birth control that I was on before, so I was on the pill. Um, and I just kept bleeding and bleeding. I was very hormonal, I was not doing well at all. And so I wanted to start looking into other options and see what else there is out there. And my husband was very resistant to it in the beginning because he was like, we're gonna get pregnant right away and what are we gonna do and all of that so I started praying about it a lot and actually like doing research and that's when I found the fertility awareness method if you're not familiar with this method what it is is you take your temperature first thing in the morning and you can track um, with your temperature whether you're fertile in or infertile and so there's like a lot of people do it by hand. There's like several options, but I looked into going towards the daisy. Um, so I had watched a bunch of YouTube videos about the daisy fertility monitor. I'll show you, I have it right here. This is the daisy. And um, you take your temperature under your tongue every single morning. The main reason that I wanted to use the daisy was because I loved how it's 99 0.4% accurate when you use it correctly and there's been so many they've done so many tests on the daisy like so many women with all different walks of life different stress levels different environments different ages different conditions and so there's a system in here and instead of you tracking your temperature it tracks it for you and every morning I just um, put it under my tongue and take my temperature before I get out of bed and then it connects to my phone and I can see whether I'm fertile, infertile, or if it's still like, if it's unsure or if it's learning. Um, you can also put in like your cervical mucus in here. So when your body um, is fertile, you have a very certain kind of cervical mucus. When you're infertile, um, you might be more dry or you might just have a little bit of fluid. Um, so I didn't, like my whole life, I had no idea that that's what that was. <laughs> and I always thought that it was weird that I had that. Like I thought it was unnormal. Um, but it just goes to show that we're, as women, we're not educated about our bodies and that we cannot get pregnant like at any time. We ovulate once a month and that is when you can get pregnant and the egg is only alive for 24 hours. Sperm does live um, from like five to seven days I believe so the daisy like takes into consideration that so um currently my last cycle I was red which means um fertile um for like probably 10 days and then I'm currently here we'll just push her belly you guys can see I'm currently on my period so I'm green which means I'm infertile and so it's been 
like such a blessing. I take it every single morning and there's also a partner app that my husband can use so he can see everything. And guys, I've been doing this for a year now. Like I, I am so thankful <laughs> and I feel so much better and I feel like I've learned so much about my body. So your body literally goes through four different phases um, a month. Who would have thought? I always thought it was like ovulation and period, right? No, there's like four different cycles and that's a whole different video, but I've learned like what to eat when I'm on my period, what foods are better for me when I'm ovulating, what kind of exercise is better for my body through each phase. And so there's thir certain things, excuse me, there's certain things that you can eat that help your hormones and certain exercises that you can do that will also like help your hormones. And I just had no idea that all of this was out there. Like I had no idea. Um, so let's talk about pregnancy scares and like what my husband and I actually do with the Daisy, how it's worked for us in the last year and any maybe things that I would change if you're like just starting out. So my husband and I use condoms when we are red. So when we are fertile, we use condoms. Currently, we would like to wait a little bit longer before we have children. And so we use condoms during my red days and then we don't use any protection on my green days because I'm infertile. So when you're on your period, you literally cannot get pregnant. Like you can't physically get pregnant because your body is has already ovulated and you are now that egg is releasing and all those toxins toxins are flushing out of your body that have built up so it's really like a really cool interesting science thing that i had no idea about especially here in america i feel like the medical side of everything medications are pushed down our throats and we don't really know about other options and like better options um especially for other people and what hormonal birth control actually does to your body it makes your body stop ovulation and so ovulation is so good for us as women that's how god designed us to be is to ovulate every single month and so when you don't have that um your body can build up a lot of extra toxins and a lot of extra things and you're probably thinking but i still have a period when i'm on my hormonal birth control that period is not real um, so the creators of birth control actually put the fake period there because they thought if women didn't see like some kind of blood, they would be concerned. So they created a fake period. So that's not actually a period. It's called withdrawal bleeding. And it was a rough, it was a rough go getting off birth control. And so I think I'll just go into that a little bit too. So what was it like getting off birth control for me? Um, I feel like it took me three or four months to really like feel like myself again. Um, as soon as you stop taking the pill, you can get on the Daisy and that's what we did. So a year ago, I just switched over and what the Daisy will do to learn your body for the first like month, um, it will be yellow and that means it's learning or it's unsure, um, which if we have a yellow day, we take that as I'm fertile and we just use protection on all yellow days. I don't hardly have any anymore. I might have one in between like a red day going into my green um, phase, but overall I am doing a lot better with, it's taken a year I feel like for it to really learn my body, but we have a lot more green days now that it has learned my body and I am really, really grateful for that and I know Jake is too. Um, so getting off hormonal birth control, there's so many things you can do. And if you guys want a whole video of like, how did I help heal my hormones? I can do that. But some of the basics is I really started paying attention to all the chemicals in our house. I switched over to like all natural cleaners. I use Castile soap for literally everything in my house. I use it for my laundry detergent. You can use it for your dishwasher. I use it for my multi-purpose cleaner to clean my toilet, to scrub my sink, to clean my shower. I use it for like everything. You can even make your own body wash. There's so many different options out there and you don't have to put harmful chemicals. And it's also so cheap. It's so cheap. You don't have to put harmful chemicals in your body. And so that really helped me. And also taking maca powder. So maca powder helps balance your hormones and I, 
took a lot of that. And this is a huge thing that I've been doing recently that I feel like is help healing my gut and my hormones is drinking bone broth, like pure, good, organic bone broth. It's, bone broth has so much nutrition in it and it's so good for your body to help absorb it and give you all of the minerals and vitamins that your body needs. So I recommend if you're getting off birth control to drink like three cups of bone broth a day. Find find a good one. They have good ones at like Whole Foods. They have good ones at Sprouts. They have good ones. You could even make your own. I You can make your own chicken or beef bone broth and it's so good for you. Let's talk about pregnancy scares. <laughs> so I think in the beginning, Jake and I were very nervous and a little skeptical of like, is this really true? Is this really going to work? But we had had other friends that have done it and it worked for them. And so in this last year, I've probably had two pregnancy scares and those scares, the daisy, so when the daisy thinks that you might be pregnant, all of the lights will like flash at you and that means possible pregnancy. So the daisy is not a pregnancy test and it cannot tell you like, oh, you're 100% pregnant. If it thinks that you are, if it's more sure that you're pregnant, all the lights will just stay, like all the lights will just be on. Um, that has not happened to me one time, um, but me and my anxiety and me doubting and being nervous if Jake and I had a slip or whatever, I would be kind of nervous up until my period and as soon as I started, I would be like, oh, okay. But talking about pregnancy scares is like a whole thing in itself. I feel like um, the Lord has taught me a lot in that and that could also be a whole nother video. But if you struggle with that and the anxiety of that, of like, what if I have a baby? Jake and I right now are in this place of we're like, the Lord wants us to have a baby. We're going to have a baby. And if he doesn't right now, then that's going to be fine. We are doing the natural method. We are doing the things to um, take care of my body and to steward my body well and treat it as a temple of the Holy Spirit. And so I believe that when it's time for us to get pregnant, it, it will be in his timing and in his will. Also, something about the daisy, it tells you the predicted ovulation. So if it's a predicted ovulation, you'll have a flashing red light. And then it's like, hey, today's probably when you're ovulating. So if you're trying to get pregnant, this is also a great option because I feel like now I know so much more about my body and I'm able to like see, oh, I'm, I could get pregnant. Like if we decided to actually try to have a baby right now, it would be pretty easy to start trying and have like a gauge and you're not just guessing or using the rhythm method. Um, but you actually have something in your hand that you're like, oh, this is 99.4% accurate, you know? And so that's really helped me a lot. You, there's also, you can also in the app put in like if you've had sex and if you've, it's been pre protected, not protected or withdrawn. Um, so like I said, we use, we use condoms. So we use the protected method and the not protected method. Um, and I feel very comfortable doing that now. And I think Jake does too. After about six months, we kind of like got the hang of it and we're like, this is working really well for us and it will continue to work really well for us. So the only thing about the daisy that I will say that it might not be for you is if you don't get enough sleep and you're up a lot in the night or you have young children, um, you have to have three hours of sleep to take your temperature. And so um, if you wake up a bunch and you're up and down a lot in the night, this might not be the right option for you. Um, and that's okay. Like that's okay. Maybe in the future it would be, but I just want to talk about the fertility awareness method because this little device has changed. Oh, I'm dropping it. This little device has changed our lives and it's been nice because I did not want to put in all of the work of actually tracking it myself. And then you also have human error in all of that. And I would make a mistake and mess it all up probably. But with the Daisy, we've been able to like use her, utilize her and just make it so simple. She connects to my phone and it's super easy. Guys, I do have a discount code for her and the link is below. And I, all you have to do is add her to your cart and there she is. So there's the link and it will automatically apply the discount. Sometimes Daisy does run sales, but you should follow me on Instagram because I always post about like 
when there are large sales going on. But she's $300, but she lasts a really long time. She's made of great little material. She's great to take when you're traveling. She has a little plug where you just plug her in. Um, and there's also nice cases you can buy with the Daisy to like take her places and all of that. So $300 is how much she costs, but I do have a promo code for a discount. And I just want to say that it was me that reached out to Daisy to do a partnership after I had watched so many videos about them and learned about them. I reached out to them and wanted to like partner with them because of how amazing the Daisy really is and how life changing it is. And so I hope you have found this video informational and that it has encouraged you to actually like pay attention to what's going on with your body and learn how your body works and how the Lord designed your body to work because it's been a year and I I have I feel so much better. Like I feel so much better and I know what's going on with my body. I know when I'm ovulating. I know when my period's coming and it's so easy to track everything. Just take your temperature every single morning. So if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I would love to make more videos like this. So excited to share this with you guys. I can't believe that it's been a year and here we are and I'm so grateful. Thanks for following along.